today's project, we are going to need a weight four cotton yarn, a four millimeter crochet hook, and of course, a pair of scissors. To start off this face scrubby, we are going to begin with a magic circle. To do this, you take the end of your yarn and place it over the inside of your first three fingers. And then you're gonna to wanna to grab it with your thumb and take the working yarn in your other hand and wrap it around those fingers and then bring it up on top to create an X or a crisscross. So grab that with your pinky and then take your hook and proceed to go underneath that bottom string and then over the top of the top string. Then you're gonna to wanna to pull it under the bottom and twist. Okay, we are going to chain one, possibly. <laughs> All right, there we go. We're going to chain one, and then that is going to be our magic circle with a chain one. Now we are going to chain two more for a total of three chains. Okay, and we're gonna make a total of five puff stitches in this magic circle. So to start off, we're going to yarn over and go through the circle then yarn over again and pull through the circle. And you wanna pull up on those two loops to match the height of your chain three. Then repeat again, yarn over, go through the circle, yarn over and pull through once more and then pull up. So again, we'll do this once more and you should now have seven loops on your hook. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, once you have those seven, you're going to yarn over and pull through all of them. Then we are going to chain one. And that is our first puff stitch. Now for the second puff stitch, yarn over and go through the circle, then yarn over and pull through again and pull up. Again, making sure that they are even with the previous stitches. So you're going to repeat this another two times. once more okay and we now have seven loops on our hook again so once we have this we yarn over and then pull through all seven okay we're going to tighten the magic circle a little bit just to make it easier to go through all right and then we will chain one again and I'll show you how to do one more puff stitch. Okay, again, yarn over, go through the circle and pull up. Yarn over, go through the circle, yarn over again and pull up, and then once more. All right, we're gonna yarn over, pull through all seven, and then chain one. So we now have three puff stitches complete. So let's zoom through these last two and then finish it up. All right, we've got five puff stitches complete. Now we need to join them together. So to do this, we're gonna pull the tail end tight and finish off that last puff stitch with a chain one. To join them, we are going to go into that first actual stitch right there, not the top of the chain three like we would maybe normally do. So not this one, but the first actual stitch that we made. So we're going to insert our hook, then yarn over and pull through both loops to make a slip stitch. Okay, and that is our first round, so we should have five puff stitches in total. To start the second round, we are going to chain up three. Okay, and our first puff stitch is going to go into the very same stitch that we just chained up those three. 
So you're going to yarn over, go through the stitch, and then yarn over and pull through and pull up. Okay, we'll do this two more times. And then once we have seven on our loop, again, we're just going to yarn over and pull through all seven. Okay, and then remember to make your chain one as well. So the next spot we're going into is actually the chain one space. So for this round, you will put a puff stitch on top of each puff stitch from the previous round and then also in the chain one spaces. Okay, and when we go into the chain one space, make sure to go through the actual space and not the chain one stitch. So this puff stitch is the same as the rest. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over again, pull through and up. Again, once you have those seven loops on your stitch or your hook, pull through all seven and then chain one. So we're gonna continue making one puff stitch in each of the stitches previous and then also in the chain one spaces. And this will be a total of 10 puff stitches once we are finished with round two. So we're about done with round two. And so far we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine puff stitches which means we have to make one more in that very last chain one. Now to join this round, it's gonna be exactly the same as we did previous. Skip that chain three and go right into the first actual stitch right there. And we're just gonna be doing a slip stitch again. All right, and that's the end of our second round right there. For our third round, we're going to do the exact same thing as round two. So we're gonna chain up three and then make a puff stitch into that very same stitch right there. Then just like row two, we're going to make a puff stitch on top of each of the stitches from the previous round, as well as the chain one spaces. And for round three, the amount of puff stitches you're gonna have is going to be 20. So we're just about done with our third row, which will be the final row for the scrubby. And we're just going to join the exact same way we have been joining the last two rounds. So now what we're going to do is make a slip stitch border all the way around. Now to do that, we are going to chain up one. And then we are going to slip stitch into that very next stitch. Okay, and we are going to continue slip stitching into every single stitch all the way around the scrubby. And in those chain ones, you wanna make sure you're going through the actual stitch and not the space like we have been doing previous. Okay, and you can see how that's starting to make a nice little border for us. To join this slip stitch round, we're going to slip stitch into that very first chain one that we did. So let's just finish this off really quick. Okay, and you will be able to tell that it's the chain one space because it's gonna be a little bit difficult to put your hook through. All right, so we are done with that bit and we are almost done with our scrubbies. So the last thing we're going to do is make a little hand strap in the back, which is gonna be very easy. All we do is chain up 15.
Then you're going to figure out where you would like to place your strap. But make sure that the chain doesn't get twisted while you're doing this. So once you've found which stitch you'd like to attach it to, put your hook through the top stitch only, not the slip stitch border. And then yarn over and pull through both loops for a slip stitch. Okay and then you are done with the strap. Now all you're gonna to wanna to do is chain one and cut. All that's left to do now is weave in the ends, which I've already done here. So I think these scrubbies are super cute and they're gonna be great for holiday gifts. I made some others that are in white so that I can show you how to make some more aesthetically pleasing uh, little Christmas slash holiday gifts. So I'm going to show you guys how to do those right now, so stay tuned. First we are going to be making a little mason jar holder for these really cute like eye scrubbies. So this is just going to be the exact same thing we did with the face scrubbies, but we're just not going to do round three. And I'm just going to be decorating them up with this little mason jar that I found in my house. And to do that, I am going to get me some paper. I like this kind of brown paper, so I'm gonna be using that. And then take whatever pen that you have. Doesn't have to be this one. <laughs> but what we're gonna do is cut out a portion of the paper, and then we're gonna take our top of our little mason jar, pop it out, and once I move all of these little pom-poms out of the way, we're going to place that on top of the paper and then just trace it with a pencil or pen. And then what I did was just cut it out and decorate it to say whatever I wanted. So for time's sake, I already did that, so here it is. And what we're gonna do now is take our little mason jar and take the very top of the lid, place that right there on top, and then place our little piece of paper on top of that. And then we still have this little screwy holder. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> so we're just gonna screw that right on top. And of course, I mean, you can glue it too, but honestly, this is all you need to do. And I think this by itself is super cute. But I also added a little something extra, so I have a red ribbon. And I'm just going to make a little ribbon wrapping. I don't really know what you call it. I just take the ribbon, you put your little thing, your little mason jar in the middle, wrap it once, and then all you're going to do is twist the ribbon and then bring it up to make your little knot. Alright, and then we are done with our first little gift wrapping. These are very, very easy. Um, I didn't really go all out with this. It's just something super simple that really anyone can do. Okay, and you could also easily do this exact same thing for your face scrubbies. I just didn't have a mason jar big enough for that right now, and I wasn't gonna go out and buy one. So instead, what I'm just going to do with this is do the same little ribbon wrapping around it just to give it a little something extra and to hold it together inside of our gift bag. All right, and we are done with that part. Again, super, super simple. Like really, you're just jazzing it up a little bit. And that is it for my tiny little gift wrappings. I thought it'd just be a nice little uh, addition to show how you could wrap them up for Christmas or any kind of holiday. All right, and those are our little face scrubby gifts. All you have left to do is put them in a gift bag and then ship it off to whoever it is that you're gonna send it to. Be sure to look out for more quick holiday crochet gifts in the coming weeks for me. And as always, be sure to like and subscribe for more crochet tutorials. 
Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you.